Barrel notes. Barrel notes. What is it? I can't read your writing. Oh, narrow but real. I think I may have found a solution for my, um... From his around, I found one of these in my spare one in my box. That's the original one. All the gauze had come off. That's the original fittings that goes on to there. And that just bolts into your back here, into the tank, your breather. And I found this, this fitting for, it's for plumbing. <clears throat> it comes off this valve here. I don't know what it's for. But there is a waterproof one where there's a valve in here, look. That I, the little screw, that'll literally screw straight into the, uh, into the breather. And I'll put some pipe on that. And I'll just zippy tie the pipe down the side and just screw that into there, you know. Haha. <laughs> just rummaging around, I thought, what can I do? And I found a spare one of those for starters. With better gauze in it. Ah, this will go straight in. Oh, lovely. Right, let's do it. There's the solution. So I'm just going to get put some, find some uh, bit tighter pipe, bolt that in, and then there's your waterproof valve. You know. Look at that lot. Your beauty. Let's try and put bolting that in, shall we? See what I've done there. What I'm going to do now is put a pipe on there, down to the side, and that should sort it out, hopefully. Nice! There you go. I knew a solution would present itself in the end. So it's just a, a vent going into there with a pipe on it. That's an old plumbing vent. Wow! I found it in the box lying around. Blimey. Not, I mean, a better one will come along eventually, better ideas, but for now, that's fantastic, isn't it? Woohoo, you beauty ribbon. People have said to me they can't, they can't read this. I mean, it's all right me pointing the camera at it. We know it's Will's way, but yesterday, they go, well, I don't understand what it says. It's hard to see, isn't it? So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do a little test. A little test of blue. Paint those, sand them down a little bit, white thinner them. And just try and paint, try and paint over this. This is only a transfer, so we don't like it. I'll just take it off. So I'm gonna have a go at painting that, you know, blue. I'm just gonna do that way first. I might do that dot, and then see how it feels. So the paint goes on if it reacts. Uh, I'm gonna sand it first as well. Oh, let's give it a go. Nerve wracking. I've made a painting stick. Basically, it's a bit of a rag around the end. I've got some of these brushes in the art shop. Three quid. So I'm going to give it a go. See how I feel. Sand it. 400 sandpaper. Wash it off and paint it. I've just made a little bit of a, a thin mix up. You know? tiniest bit of thinners in it let's give it a go and I think I'll go for that one that brush there look there it goes all right that blue has dried really well in it look at that so I'm gonna do the rest of the colors now blue the rest of the colors the gray I'll leave the white that's nice and neat isn't it well, it didn't at first but this sort of the paint sort of settled itself you know See that? Mm, so I've got to sand all that. I very light sanding of 400 grit. A bit of that scratch there, not. And then uh, proceed. It's going to rain tomorrow, so I might do. Might try and get the W in uh, this afternoon. That is coat number one on there. I like that sort of rustic, that rustic look. Uh, coat number one. We'll give it another coat and see how we get on. Much better, isn't it, in blue? Much better. Oh, I chuffed the bits with that. Woohoo! Sanded all these down. Now I'm going to. I said it's first coat. I'm going to give us a coat now and then. Much better in blue, isn't it? And I'm going to 
paint those and leave that and then give it all another coat. That's one coat done. Uh, see how thin it is, look. That's two coats on that one. It's going to require three. That's two coats on there, which has turned out well. And that is one coat. I can actually, I'm speeded up now. That brush is fantastic, this brush here. Uh, for getting those lines, you know. Brush set three quid. I've just got to sand this one now. The boat's moving all over the place. Moving backwards and forwards all the time, you know, up and down, backwards and forwards. I've now just got to sand this uh, thinners and then I'll do the same with that one. Alrighty, Rippers. I think this one's going to be the harder one because it's much lower down and I've got to sit on this, this step here. The boat's constantly moving backwards and forwards very slowly. See it? Very, you can't see it because I'm just, just sitting there shaking. Stop there anyway, I'll get on. I love it, I speed it up, it sounds like pink and perky. Can you hear the cars in the background? It sounds like a racetrack. But yeah, when Tom really is, this is only a very thin coat. And uh, when I go over the edge, I just wipe it off. It's just, you've got to make sure it's uh, it's a little, little bit uh, thinned out, you know. You want too thick. You get thicker as you, as you once, that, once that coat dries and it adheres, and you sand it again, and then, um, so I'm just wiping that bit there up because it's just gone over a little bit. Just take your time with it. Uh, every time I every time I'm doing a brush stroke, I hold my breath. So it wasn't easy, especially after lunch. You know what I mean? I thought I'd give it a go. It's not uh, I had that blue anyway because it's the blue of the boat. And um, the brushes weren't very expensive. I thought I wanted to give it a try anyway, see how hard it was. And a bit difficult at first, but after a bit you get used to the... Uh, how much paint's in the brush and how long you can do it for, you know, how much stroke you can do. Oh, don't tit the missus. A lot pink and perky. Remember those? Sounded like that, didn't they? Didn't take long. It took me about, I don't know, about half an hour to do the whole the whole lot. I have to keep wiping it locks, keep going over. Once you go over, uh, it's really difficult to get the line back, so you just wipe, just wipe off and start again. Um, when the sun came out, when the when the paint was a bit thicker, that when it when it went off quick, then that was a bit more difficult, you know. But uh, it's going on all right, isn't it? There you go. That's now had three coats. That's had two coats. That's the one coat, mate. Eh? So that's nice and toasty with three coats. He's slightly milder, a bit nippy, he's freezing. Big difference, you can read it now, can't you? Will's way. Oh, I'm so chuffed. That has had three coats now. What do you think? A lot better in blue, isn't it? Hey, Rippers. Look at me a lot, eh? Sign writer. Ah, oh, it's like. If you, if you drew it, you suppose you could sign, you know, paint within the lines. I managed to do that. Nice. Because my fridge kept leaking, uh, I didn't realise that the back of these fridges... It's getting old anyway, it's a bit rusty and all sorts. This back of these fridges, there's a tray that needs to be emptied. So I took the fridge out and emptied the tray. But it's made the floor warp lot. And I changed those two bits there. I had two bits I kept spare. Completely different colour now, aren't they? <laughs> Never mind. So I'm going to ch hopefully change those two without too much hassle and fuss, you know. Let's see how it goes, Rippers. Oh, I just broke the clip that holds it on to. Oh no, now I've got to search for another one. Holds it onto there. Can't get any more clips on it because the feet. The feet are under there. They don't. Uh... Anyway, going into that bit. That bit up there, that bit up there, 
pull these two bits out hopefully and then slot the new ones in. Hey, oh, this one goes under there, look. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, it goes under there. Oh, it's going to be a mess in it, let's face facts. Right, let's get on with it. That's that one bit out. I'm so glad I picked this, uh, not this particular floor. This is a cheap flooring. This is like £15 a pack. At the time when I laid it down, uh, I was in lockdown, heavy lockdown. And you could have to go in, you have to queue, you have to book it. Oh, a nightmare. So all I could get was this at the time. Anyway, I've got that piece out there, you know. I've got to get this piece out of here now. Oh, that's, look. Oh. Easy enough. There you are. Bit sticky. A bit jammed up with the jam. That's it. And two pieces out. Wow. Hey. I'm so glad I put this flooring down as well. This protective stuff. There we are. Get the new pieces in. And Bob's tunkle. Hey. That's the new pieces in. See there, not that bit there. Just a bit swollen. I ain't got a piece for it. The other bits are swollen as well, you know. Lots of new bits in. That's it for me, I'll do, you know. Not posh. Get the fridge a clean before it goes back in. Get the floor a clean. And then uh, back to normal. If you got one of these uh, fridges, this is a Shoreline 12 volt. You've got a tray there, look. Two screws. And that tray pulls out and you can clean that tray off and it's all your electrical gubbins and i hope it lasts for many many more years and there we are the worst the worst bits changed that bit's got a chip on there look it's a pity i couldn't save uh, three pieces you know i'm glad i want that anyway it's complicated getting that one in there it goes under there and everything anyway there we are Ooh. That's done me. Nice. I just want to show you how I make my music. Now this is a computer program. Um, Magic's Music Maker. And all these colours are different instruments. And uh, this, so this is an old laptop. Crappy old thing. It's all broke. It's all coming apart. The speakers don't work. So I've got it through my Bluetooth. Right, so I'm just going to play this for you, so you get an idea. Let's go back to the start, look. So all these different instruments here, look, yeah, and different sounds. I'm just going to play that for you. This is the start of it now. That's the noise. Can you hear that noise? I fade it out there. That's that ramp there. That's a fade out. Volume. That's a fade in there. I want to get the speaker. I've got a pair of this. Get the speaker and put it. I'll just put the speaker up there so you can hear it better. You know. Ready again? Start from. Start from there. That. So I've got a selection of sounds here, lot. On the left-hand side, here. you buy have to buy these. All these loops. See all these loops there, so you have to buy them all. And each loop has got a different sound in it. Can you hear that? That one. Let's talk a little bit for me, yeah? that one over there a lot that one there so there's all your different sounds 
turns the volume down a bit. So you can see what's happening now. Can't you? These are all different sounds, they're all different instruments, different tunes that I've selected out of this here. It doesn't select it for you, you've got to, you've got to find the sound that you want, you know. So it's going to play a bit for you. And there's also different levels up here, look. So these instruments up here. There's also instruments down here going off. And this is a very simple one. I've got other ones that are about 16 layers of instruments. An extra instrument comes in there, look. The next one's waiting there, look. The drum beat's waiting. Instruments there, look. Next, next sounds there, look, coming in. Nice little gap with some more instruments there. now I'm just going to play this bit here which I really like at the end here this bit bass guitar there boom boom you can you can you can stop these mute them the instrument down here lots coming in Is that one there the end of that chapter right I think I like that now what I'll do now is I'll save that file I want to call it into the deep I'll call it into into the deep yeah save that what I'm gonna do is I must have saved that and I'm gonna I could have uploaded it then I'm gonna export it as mp3 to my my Bluetooth on my phone, so what it normalizes it, then it uploads it and integrates it. So that'll be on the vlog soon. <laughs> I've got a vlog coming near you, <laughs> poor souls. I just want to mention that these these bits here, look, these this is your A, uh, your B, D, A, E, and all that, and you've got your C, G and up to your F. So you've got to select, uh, you know, for uh, different sounds, your pitch. So you've got to select your pitch and your sound and your pitch and all that. So it's not like walking apart. What that's doing now is that's mixing down. Well, and then I'll upload it to my phone and I'll play it through my stereo and then I'll play it in the van and if it, you can't really hear it until you hear it over and over, you know, and then they leave it for a couple of days and then you listen to it again and then you really hear uh, the faults in it, you know, so I, I can't really hear the faults now because you've just been doing it for so long So I'll leave it for a day or two and then I'll I'll just leave them in, <laughs> you know, who cares? 
but uh, they're not too bad let's leave them in sometimes you get a fault in between these in between these here look um, you have to zoom right in on the wave itself and, and join the waves right inside there uh, into the wave pattern and join the wave patterns together so they so they mix properly otherwise you'll get a like a like a, a blip sound or, or you'll get a tsh in between the instruments you know it's not as simple as what you think it took me ages to work all this out it's very complicated you go online and you can buy I can't do it now look you can buy um, on store online all the, all the loops I bought some loops last night it cost me about 796 for this for this one so that's ready now look that'll go onto my phone now so I'll turn you off